Welcome to my home studio. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my um, home studio. This is a, a funny mask I like to wear sometimes to scare people away. People who bring more and more work to my home. But um, uh, this is it. Uh, come on up. Um, I have a very um, low-key, sort of casual, fairly small home studio. But you know what? I have found out over many years of working in many different studios, very large studios, uh, often that the smaller, the more manageable, uh, the less gear, the better. The more high quality the gear, the better. But it's quality that matters and not quantity. So um, this is uh, the attic in my home here in Los Angeles, in California. Here are my drums. I use, of course, drum workshop drums and minor cymbals. Um, this is a basic recording setup that I'll use. I'll talk more about that later when we come back around to check out the drums in detail. Um, and I'll show you what I do most of the time. I have a second drum set here. This is an electronic kit for a lot of the progressive sort of electronic music, industrial music I'm recording or dance uh, music I'm recording. Uh, I have a little couch area here. I have my percussion instruments and more percussion instruments behind this door here. This is a storage area. Some awards and some goofy things. Look, I'll show you some uh, very important toys. Not the electronics and musical instruments, no. Other toys, like for example, Superman versus He-Man. Or even more importantly, look, it's the T-600 bio-cybernetic organism mounted on an endometallic skeleton. You know, I don't know why people call me the Drominator. Really, I don't know. Not that, you know, as I do know, but <laughs> anyways, it's my own fault, I guess. Um, so, and here is really where I do most of my work. For example. Anyways, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, here, I have these two uh, work areas. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. I write and produce a lot of music. So rather than go to a different studio away from my home, I like to be at home, you know, and because uh, it's California and it's beautiful. So I like to stay home to work. Uh, and I travel so much anyways when I'm touring uh, with people uh, or recording, I fly all over the world to do that. So I'm always very happy and pleased if I can spend more time at home. So I basically created the studio to be able to spend more time at home, do sessions from my own home and write and produce uh, music here. I use uh, very minimal equipment. I have, uh, of course, Macintosh computers. Um, all of them, all the computers I use are Macs um, and I use uh, Pro Tools. I use Logic. Um, a software. I use Ableton software. This computer is mainly for my Pro Tools and uh, Logic uh, software. That's what I run on here and when I do video editing and stuff I do it usually on this computer. Um, I have an iPad here also for a lot of the um, sort of application software. Uh, there's a lot of cool soft synths and plugins that I use from the iPad. Um, I have a Sonic, uh, Roland Sonic Cell sound module. I have of course a Phantom uh, keyboard. And I have a lot of plugins of great keyboards and sounds. I have my guitars here. I have a bass and I have more basses here in storage because uh, I, I play bass also and I like to record as many acoustic and, you know, sort of uh, really handmade and played instruments as possible, not so much um, electronic stuff and simulated instruments. And when I do electronic stuff exclusively, I use the, usually this computer and Ableton and the Ableton uh, Akai um, APC40 controller and a lot of my Roland pads, uh, the SPDS X pad over here, and of course my Roland V drums over there. So this area is for my electronic music production. Often I do uh, pre production with this gear. And then I move it over onto this computer to do to replace uh, some of the program instruments with the live drums, or I just concentrate on my like, electronic music world here, on this computer and in that world. What else do I have here? Um, a skylight because I like to have daylight when I work. 
Um, it's very beautiful. We have summer all year round here in California, so it's always really warm and, and beautiful. And I like to have the windows open, get a breeze in the studio, and work mainly in the daytime. And when it gets late at night, yeah, I'm not endorsing this company, but this is uh, an energy drink. So when it's long nights, every once in a while, this is actually still full. Uh, so probably not a long night last night. Anyways, so this is this. I have, uh, what else? A lot of microphones back here. Of course, I endorse uh, Audix microphones. And here are, uh, when I'm not using, mic whatever microphones I'm not currently using in my setup, I store here and a lot of additional cables. And again, behind the store, there's a lot more um, storage gear. I have my percussion instruments. I'll play, of course, also minor percussion. Great tambourine. Very nice, soft. I like this one. It's really nice and soft. Anyways, um, I've got my cajons, my jimmy, my bata, all my cool little uh, percussion gadgets here. And um, let's go this way and I'll show you the drums, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 